Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It's a smoky, we've got a little bit of a fire situation going on in, in the state of Oregon, but uh, looks like Johnny Law is pulling somebody over on Interstate 5 over here. We're gonna look at two coaches today, an 02 and an 03, both XL, both double slides, both of them for sale. This is gonna be really fun because we also, I know Dave Bash is over there on 753 doing a, a PDI, and then 828 right behind me, this coach right here. Really cool floor plans. Both of these coaches are for sale. Stick with us. We're gonna go in both coaches and do a little mini tour of both of them because they are brand new on the lot. I wanted to bring them to you today so you could get a little snippet of it, and then eventually we'll do a full tour of both coaches. Coach 828 right behind me. This is an 03 double slide, you guys. This is a great floor plan. We're gonna go inside and show you why. I'll follow you, John. Tell me what you think of those colors. I can dig it. I, and. Uh, there's so many things about this coach that I like from the floor plan, the dinette, the large closet in this one. Coach 828 is an 03 XL double slide. And I'm gonna tell you right now, a whole new engine was put in this coach. I think like 15,000 miles ago, you guys. Done by Prevo down in Mariloma, all documented new engine in this coach. I think it shows 150 some thousand miles, but it's got a whole new documented new engine. Look at this floor plan. As you walk into the coach, I love a booth dinette. You guys know that. Good colors throughout. This is one of those coaches that has good colors for the era, 03 double slide. John and I are right now standing in the slide out room. This is a fantastic coach. Love this floor plan. Love, love the uh, matching sofa to the recliners, to the cockpit, to the uh, dinette here. Facing dinette. Also with the extension, it comes out. Uh, so you could sit a total of six if you wanted to. Um, hardwood floors to tile, which is really good. And carpet in the bedroom. All right, we're gonna head through. Remember, this is gonna be a little bit of shorter uh, tour today because I want you to just get a good idea of Coach 828 and 753, two coaches that are for sale. And of course, eventually we'll bring you a full tour. Good storage in the galley too, something that I really noticed earlier. Uh, residential refrigerator, split water closet as you walk through the coach. On the curb side, you got the shower. On the driver's side, you've got the water closet or the commode room. Very nice. Washer, dryer, full size here on the curb side. And then look at the size of the closet here, you guys. A full closet in the midship of this coach. Now, some of you will notice right away, this is a big enough closet, you could put bunks in here, it's been done. Also, bunks to closet has been done in this style of floor plan, but closing off this door right here, that is a big closet. So for those of you who are looking for a coach that can be converted to bunks for kids, great idea, or big closet already achieved right here on the driver's side of 828. All right. As you walk into the bedroom, queen size bed, and I'm standing in front of the large closet here with the dog leg up here. Uh, TV, aftermarket TV was installed. It is a Samsung smart TV right here. So well done install here on the uh, curbside or the patio side. Good natural light coming in through this coach. Uh, Dave Bash is going to be PDIing this coach here real soon, and then we'll be bringing you a full tour. That's kind of a little snippet. This is also a Crestron. It has the upgrade of the iPads uh, is one of the things I noticed. That is a quick tour of Coach 828. This is an 03 occasional sink out here, or not, not the occasional sink, excuse me. This is the actual sink for the water closet. So this is, um, this is where you've got storage above and below 
for your water closet. And don't forget, pocket doors throughout. See that right there? Pocket doors throughout. John bumped that with his uh, elbow there. Um, residential refrigerator, good storage. Look at this right here. Your pantry, really good storage in this coach. You guys know how I love all these natural colors too. Colors that won't go out of style. Coach 828, that's a little mini tour. Also, take a look here. You know that this this uh, cockpit seat, this co-pilot seat, will spin around and become part of the scenario in here. Um, but this is one of those coaches that uh, a lot of people anticipate. They're looking for this era of coach. And also, with the documented new engine, that means that uh, the owners, the current owners, because this is a consignment coach, have invested some money. That's right. We're going to go see Coach 753 right now. Let's walk out here, John, towards the back of the coaches. It's a busy day. If you scan just from right here, you can see new coaches. I can see uh, Vern and the quality control crew down at the wash rack washing a uh, new shell. If you, if you spin around, John will show you a good, nice view of some coaches in production. If you're looking to get into a marathon, I don't just do the videos here, guys. I am a salesman. That's my paramount job. So hit me up, Mal W at MarathonCoach.com. Let's get you into a marathon. We're going to go in here and talk with Dave Bash. He's doing the uh, PDI, the pre-delivery inspection or the initial inspection of this consignment, Coach 753. We already saw uh, an 03. This is an 02. All right, John, am I on here on the mic? I'm Bob Barker style here. This is a cool mic, man. I can dig it. Let's go inside. Looks like Dave is in here. Oh, man, this is a cool floor plan. I was in here earlier this morning, you guys. Now, um, there he is. Uh-oh. Wow, well, what a surprise. <laughs> he says that, but he knows I was coming in with the, with the <laughs> Bob Barker it. microphone. <laughs> Uh, we just looked at 828, a coach that you're probably going to be doing an inspection on here After eventually. This, yeah. Yep. And uh, dig on that floor plan. I really like that. I like the booth dinette. Okay. One of the one of the things about this, this is a very unique floor plan. Something yeah. that's uh, I love the TV on the back side here because yeah. you also have the TV. That's storage. It, oh, it's storage. Okay, good call. So above the cockpit, it still has that traditional pop down that looks like it's going to be and john you don't really need to show it because there's no tv there but you have your tv back here and it looks mm -hmm. like it's an upgraded samsung from yep. this era it's a nice one okay and this is an o2 okay okay i'll so, take your word for it yeah absolutely i don't Th say that very often <laughs> he shouldn't uh <laughs> so this is an o2 we just looked at an o3 okay um one of the things before we take a quick look uh, at this floor plan, because I'm not going to do a full show on it today, I just want everyone to kind of get a good overview of it. Dave, sure. uh, talk to us about what you look for on these inspections, uh, because this, the inspection, and, and it's pretty a pretty lengthy uh, sheet that you go over. What do you look for that's uh, going to help the next owner have a successful transition into ownership of a marathon? Well, the list that I go through is 21 pages. It's it's a pretty good comprehensive list of everything that needs to be working or not working. It, everything on the coach should be working, whether they've added something or not. Right. Um, they made a change in the TV bedroom on this. It works. Um, anything, I go through the whole coach, make sure all operations are, are good. Whether it's tech link switches for lights, all the stuff at the dash, generator, all the appliances, dishwasher, refrigerator, ice maker, everything in the coach, I make sure right down Are the functioning list, properly. whether it's working or not. And not just that, but I know that Dave looks at the 
is the tile still sealed? How, you know, how is the, the shower, is it still sealed? The panels outside, I saw your panel tool over yeah. here, you know, um, checking the functions of the stuff down in the bays. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a, it's yeah. a big comprehensive list sure. of items. Um, so let's look at this floor plan. I, this is really cool, man. I can dig this. It is a big, it adds a ton of storage to the galley, first of all. It's a big desk. But I mean, it is a big desk. It also serves as this coach's dinette table. Dinette table. Absolutely. And it, you can see someone can sit right here. Boy, that's lightweight. Someone can sit right here and really have a nice view out these big windows. It's yep. really good. I like it a lot. Tons of storage below there yep. too. Lots of storage. Really unique. It's got a reverse dog leg in the sofa mm -hmm. and what i mean by that and john you can show that is a lot of times we have the dog leg here but because the tv is situated back here the actual dog leg bump out is towards the driver because the tv is situated on the back side of that sofa that's cool yep a few things different about this coach so yeah, there are a few different things about this coach, but another thing I like is the S-curve of this this era of floor plans. So you literally wa are walking, I'm gonna leave this with you, Dave. Okay. You literally are walking here, and once you reach here, you can't see me when I move into this era right here. Yeah. And I really like that. I could hear myself on my own phone. That was kind of nifty. Tons of storage. Come on through this way, John. I want to show everybody. Uh, this is one thing that Dave was looking at this morning when he was doing the inspection is uh, the customer had this uh, pop-up TV. And Dave, stop me if I'm wrong, but this looks like a, a Samsung Smart TV also. It is also. And it looks like Dave's checking the DirecTV satellites on this coach. And this comes right out of the cabinetry. Um, yeah, I like a small I, remote there that operates it up and down. Oh yeah, look at that. Very cool. Goes down. I'm not gonna put it all the way down. Just press the up button, make it stop and go back up. That's cool. Little remote to activate that. I like that. Good closet back here. Dave's got the blinds closed back here, and also it has the uh, fan for good air circulation. Coach seven fifty three. An O2 double slide. We saw, we saw, we've seen two XL double slides this morning, two very different floor plans. Mm -hmm. But uh, I love doing these little small tours. You shouldn't hand me this. Oh, I feel I know. like I want to break out and sing. <laughs> Nobody wants to. Wouldn't break. have been a problem. Wouldn't have been a problem. Full washer dryer right there. Good storage here. Look at all those drawers. Very nice. Good shower. Another thing that stands out about this coach from this era is it doesn't have the gold, you guys. A lot of times this would be gold and it looks like- Or brass. Good point. Or brass. And this looks like more of a polished or a rubbed brass uh, because it's definitely got a dark color to it. Very nice. Residential refrigerator, as they should for this era, usually in a mana right there. Oh yeah, and this is another thing I looked at when I came and saw the coach this morning. Look at this galley storage. Pantry, thank you. Look at all that. You got all that. All of this. <laughs> Tons of storage. In a double slide X. Plus the four drawers behind it. Yeah. Boy. Tons of storage in this coach. Yeah. This galley has some of the most, I mean, because of this edition, this is the most storage I've ever seen. 
in this era of coach. Of course, there's gonna be storage below this and behind it. Dave's gonna pop that and show us the storage instead of a TV over the pilot in the cockpit area. Good spot for linens or, uh, you know. Or another TV if you wanna add another it. Another TV or. We've done that. Or a Mossberg. So for those of you who are into that type of TV, um, that's it, you guys. A big uh, Dave. What do you? What is your schedule like? Uh, you got. You got. I mean, you got some travel coming up. I hear. I'm supposed to be taking the coach out east. Okay. Here, towards the end of the month. Okay. For delivery. Yep. So, otherwise, I'm here. Last week I was on phones, and this week I'm doing PDIs. When you're on phones, you're taking care of a lot of customers, and. and you guys have probably heard Dave say that many times on Marathon Mondays. One of his uh, duties here at Marathon, not just the deliveries of coaches, but the, and not just the inspections of all the incoming trade-ins or consignments, but one of the things that Dave does is he does the phones for our service. Technical support. Yeah, tech support. Um, that's a really big benefit to buying a Marathon is it having is. tech support available to the customers, uh, whether they buy it independently, whether they buy it from Marathon. And I think that is a main reason to consider Marathon is I agree. you have support, plus you've got the three locations. Um, of course, we're at corporate, but um, having the having the technical support's a big thing. It is. And and the, the people that answer the phone, not just yourself, but you've got a handful of people that do it. There's a lot of people on that tech support team. On the after hours phone, yes. There's three of us during the day that handle calls. Very experienced. Day. Oh yeah. You and Terry. Terry. Terry's been here almost since the company's been in existence. He was here way before this coach was made. Gotcha. Uh, he's he's the electrical genius of the company. He'd probably get mad at me for saying that, but he's but, yeah. if I need help He's the one I go to. Yeah, Terry Plus, Warren. Plus, I've got the yeah Terry Warren. He's uh, I've also got the resources of the whole production area. That and that's a really good point that you make mm -hmm. is that if you don't know, you know who to ask. I know where to go to find the answer. And that's kind of the way I set up my sales philosophy because mm -hmm. I don't know. Like this weekend, somebody asked me about. We know. <laughs> That's the truth, brother. <laughs> but you know, someone asked me about time. somebody asked me about tank capacity, mm -hmm. and I don't know all those numbers. Mm -hmm. So, but I know who to ask, mm -hmm. and I would rather ask than give a wrong answer or an, or a non answer. Glad to hear you say that. Yeah, because that's the truth. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's what you want to do. There's also Jeff Campbell. He's on the phone. Oh, he's goodness, been here yes. one year less than I have, but still, he's been here 23 years. Yep. And so. Between the three of us, I mean, we go to each other quite often to ask for help if we don't know the answer. Awesome. And plus, like I said, we've got the whole rest of the plant at our disposal to Good find deal. the answer. Awesome. Well, let's let's end this outside, John. Take a look at the side of uh, this coach. Dave, big thanks to you. No problem. And a big thanks for what you do uh, for the customers here at Marathon because you're arming them with all of the information. If someone's going to consider this coach, your inspection is very important thank so you. thank you dave Bye. always a good a good thing to get the co-host dave bash involved in marathon mondays because uh he's one of those guys that is boots on the ground when it comes to knowing our inventory how they work uh the quality of them this is a nice coach you guys i love these two floor plans that we looked at if you're interested in either of these coaches mal w m-a-l-w at marathoncoach.com there's the carol shelby of the rv industry right behind us i wouldn't say that to his face but that guy that's jay graham engineering for over 30 years with marathon a very very outside the box thinker and very creative uh r d guy so I call him the Carol Shelby of the RV industry because he comes up with things that the owners want that really enhance the product. All right. That being said, reach out to me, malw at marathoncoach.com. Be yourself and do good things. 
Next week, I'll be on the road, so we're gonna have a, pre, uh, a pre-recorded episode. So next Monday will be pre-recorded, but if you're looking to get into either of these coaches, a really nice 02 or an 03, hit me up. I'm out of here.